Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to make baked beans and ground beef casserole. This is a good one for picnics, barbecues. We even got Memorial Day coming up. We have Father's Day. And then after that is Labor Day. Any time that you are gonna be barbecuing, this is a great dish to put out and people will enjoy. We're gonna start in a large skillet with one pound of ground beef. Now, if you wanna double this recipe, you can. There we go. We're gonna fry up the ground beef. Just doing this on a medium high heat. Getting my meat chopper here. We're gonna break it all up. We're gonna let this brown up. Now this dish brings back memories for me from when I was young, so it means a lot. We're gonna bulk this up by adding some bell pepper and onion. We're gonna give it a little pop of heat with just a poblano pepper. Now a poblano is just a little more heat than a bell pepper and a lot less heat than a jalapeno. So it's kind of somewhere in the middle. We're gonna put about half of this in there and we'll dice that up. I'm gonna flatten this out. These are fillers and you can put them in as much as you want or as little as you want. But to add a little bit of heat to it will really be good. All right, I'm gonna pop these seeds out and I'm gonna cut off the sides of my bell pepper here. All right, let's dice these up. And take off that white piece right here. This is generally bitter, you want to remove that. Okay, we cut it in strips. We're just gonna run a knife through, make dices. This is my mom's recipe, and she made this way back when I was young. I'm adding a few little ingredients to it. You know, recipes do evolve throughout the years. And what we'll do, start softening down the peppers while the ground beef is browning up. Adding a little bit of texture to the ground beef, just kind of flattening it out, getting it kind of crispy on the edges a little bit. That'll give it some nice texture. I'm gonna grab my bench scraper, grab the peppers, add them. Now, once you get your ground beef all chopped up, you don't really need your meat chopper anymore. We don't want a fine ground beef mixture, all right? We want pieces. There we go. That looks perfect in there. While the ground beef is browning up and the peppers are softening down, let's go ahead and chop up our onion. I'm gonna be dicing it. Just take off both ends, take off your outer layer. My dad worked for a company called Woolco when I was young, back in Mississippi. Yep, that's where I grew up. And they would have company picnics during the summertime and my mom would bring this all the time. She was asked to bring it because everybody loved it. So I just cut my onion in half. I'm running my knife through it, following the lines of the onion somewhat. Make slices. This is just the fastest way that you can get an onion chopped. Turn your onion a quarter of the way, run your knife through it, and there's your dices. I'm not afraid of how much onion goes into this dish because it's gonna soften down and add some delicious flavor always, right? We're gonna go ahead now after we chop this up and add it to our ground beef and peppers. Oh yeah, it's browning up really nicely. I hear it popping in there, which means we're getting a good sizzle. Some nice crispy bits on the ground beef. All right. Stir this all together. 
We're going to finish cooking the ground beef, making sure no pink left inside. And we want the peppers and onions to be nice and softened. Looks good in there. We're going to add in one cup, change places there with that, of ketchup. All right, we're gonna add that. Stir it in. We've got some brown sugar. We're gonna add in half a cup. Now you wanna make sure it's packed. You just kind of go in, press it down, scrape it off. While I'm mixing this in, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of yellow mustard. And two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. One and two. Let's mix this all together. Then at this point, we're going to go ahead and turn it off. Now, when you cooked your ground beef, I did not have any fat left over from it to take out. When you're cooking your ground beef, if you have any excess grease, you need to drain that out before you add your ketchup and everything. All right, that's looking good right there. We're gonna go in with a little bit of salt. We haven't salted anything yet. And then black pepper. There we go. Stir that in. At this point, give it a taste for flavor. Let's grab a spoon. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh my gosh. That takes me back. Wow. Mm. Let's talk about the baked beans. I am using pork and beans. I grew up with that. You can use baked beans if you want to use baked beans. But remember, baked beans generally are already flavored with maple, hickory, bacon, and stuff like that. These are not. So we're going to put both cans in, juice and all. Uh, this is what I'm using right here. And these are 15 ounce cans. The baked beans generally come in like a 28 ounce can and you can use one of those for this if you want. Just remember you're going to get more flavor from that than just regular pork and beans. And we got a lot of flavor going on in the ground beef mixture there. All right, let's stir this together. We're adding the beans last because we don't want to get them all mushy. So just kind of combine them. We'll give it one more check for flavor. Get a new spoon here. We're just looking for flavor. Mmm. That takes me way back. Oh yeah. I think the first time I had this was I was six or seven that I can remember anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's put this into a baking dish. One tablespoon of butter, basting brush, and cover the whole thing. You don't want your beans to stick. Plus, this adds a nice layer of flavor. Here we go. All right, fill the pan up. I'm gonna bring it real close. Now, if you want to have a red bell pepper in here, give it some color. You can certainly do that. Y'all let me know what you're putting into your baked bean ground beef casserole. Let's evenly spread it out. Bring it over the foil. Cover your dish. Mm. 
We're gonna place this in our oven. It's been preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for 45 minutes. Pull all those flavors together. I just pulled this out of the oven. Make sure you release your foil away from you. Oh, it smells so delicious. I'm gonna plate up a little bit of this, give it a try for you. Those flavors, they just meld all together. Oh, I want the bite with that poblano. Mm. Wow, that brings back memories for sure. Those flavors all rock. And it's not spicy at all with that poblano in there, but it adds just a little bit of kick to it. Mm. And those onions add another layer of texture to it. Y'all, that's delicious. Mm. Perfect for any barbecue, perfect for any picnic. You've got Memorial Day, Father's Day, and Labor Day. So if you're outside making a picnic, throw this together, put it in the oven, and then bring it out. Woo wee, that's gonna go quick. Give me a thumbs up, make sure you like the video, share this with family and friends so they can make it for their picnic or barbecue for any occasion. All right, you guys, I'll see y'all on the next episode. I'm gonna take my little dish here because that's for our picnic.